In this video, we're going to show you how to install the knock sensor on your Nissan Versa located on the front side of your engine. Using a 10 millimeter socket, we're going to remove the two bolts holding our engine cover in place. Just go ahead and lift straight up. Pop that aside. Now that we have our cover off here, I'm gonna give us a little bit better access. Our knock sensor is right on the front side of the engine right here. It's held in place with a 10 millimeter bolt. Now there's a wire harness coming off the alternator that runs right in front of that bolt. I'm gonna use my trim tool. I'm gonna to pop this little retainer off of this bracket. And that should allow us a little more access to that bolt. I'm gonna pop my dipstick out here and set that aside. I'm gonna use my pick here to show you if there's a metal retainer tab or lock uh, retainer here, and it pushes in. See, it goes in. Now I wanna push that in and pull this connector off. It's kind of a tight fit there. All right, you can pull that harness back. It's gonna give us access to our 10 millimeter bolt right there. Use our 10 millimeter gear wrench with a swivel head on it. I'll go ahead and pop that on there. All right, we got it loose. I just want to get my wrench off of that bolt. reach down there and remove that bolt. Get to remove that sensor with the bolt. Go ahead and take your knock sensor. I'm gonna put the bolt through it. Get this down there. You wanna be careful not to drop that knock sensor. And then get that bolt started a few threads. I'm using both hands to spin that bolt in there. It's a little bit easier to do that. And then once it started, that bolt should spin in pretty easy. I'm gonna thread that bolt in as far as I can by hand. The knock sensor uh, connector needs to be facing the driver's side or be positioned horizontally. You see the position of that sensor right there. Let's go ahead and snug down that bolt. Now we're going to torque this down to 14 foot pounds. We used a shallow 10 millimeter with our swivel head on our torque wrench. I want to go ahead and install your harness here. I was going to press that connector on. I'm going to line that up. I ended up using my pick to push in on that clip and then slide it on and it popped into place, snapped into place. We have our little retainer here for our wire harness. Go ahead and line that up and press that tab into that bracket to hold that harness. And if you decided to remove your dipstick tube to do this job, you can now go ahead and reinstall that. Now installing your engine cover, you want to go ahead and pay attention to these two plastic posts that press into these rubber grommets on the intake. Line those up, gently push down on that cover, install your two 10 millimeter bolts on the top.
Now let's go ahead and snug those down. Now you're all set. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.